And now the man who knows that no matter who the guest is, the show is always about him. The host of Wind Funnel, Dino Bravo. I am entertaining, and I know what viewers like you want. I've been behind the wheel of a race car, I've been underneath the race car, turning the wrenches. I've been on both sides of this desk. I've been behind the camera, I've been in front of the camera, and I will bring 30 years of motorsports journalism to you in your living room. Hi everybody, it's Dave de Portugal back on Wind Funnel, and it is a real treat to be here. We managed to get some satellite time to host the show since Dino Bravo couldn't be here. But uh, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter where he is, because I'm here to host the show that you like, that introduces you to the drivers you love here on the HO Champ Car World Series, right here on HOCC TV. We are talking to last year's Rookie of the Year, Dean Strom. Dean, welcome to the broadcast. Hey, thanks for having me, Dave. Uh, it's good to see you back in that chair, man. <laughs> Dog, that, that last dude that's on here, man, he is, he, he's out there. He's goofball with a giant, with a capital goof. Well, Dean, it was about a year ago that I had a chance to talk to you for your very first interview on HOCC TV. And uh, how have things gone for you in that first season and now into your second season uh, in HO Champ Car? Well, I don't know. You know, we're just we're just kicking it. We're just keeping it real, yo. You know, and uh, and just living a life, man. It's just another day in paradise here. Now it seemed to me that uh, one of the goals that you had set for yourself uh, last year when we spoke was to to uh, absolutely destroy Dan Margetta. How did that turn out for you? Well, he didn't win the championship last year, did he? You know, I uh, and, and it don't look like he's going to win the championship this year. I mean, uh, there's some fast cats up there, uh, Mark Walczak and uh, and Jim Iverson and, and whatnot. So, you know, I heard from my supporters that that you know I had lost I had lost my edge a little bit when it come to uh, when it come to squashing his spirit and his soul. And and to that I say, well, like I say, you know, he didn't win the championship last year, so I think he's lost his zest to win. I think he's lost his zest uh, uh, for life, really. And how about your team? I mean, uh, you know, has your has your team been everything you've needed it to be in order to really move forward and, and compete for a championship the way you've hoped you could? Well, my team, you know, it's a, it's a one-car team, so have they been helpful? Well, not really, you know, because it's just me, dog, you know. Well, it certainly certainly sounds like the uh, confidence that you had last year has not diminished at all this year. Well, <laughs> I mean, when you, when you, did you get a good look at me? I mean, come on, it's right here. Just be your own dog, dog. I mean, that's what it's all about. We're just uh, confidence. No, we we ain't short of confidence. I mean, when you when you got these good looks and you got this talent and and you're partying with pretty people, you know, kicking it straight, keeping it real, dog. It's just ain't, ain't nothing but confidence. Nothing, nothing to be not confident about. How can you afford to miss an important race like this? And where are you? Well, you know, it's uh, we we had some conflicts there. Uh, I have some personal service agreements here at Dean Strom Incorporated DSI. And uh, you know, it, it's ain't it's it's ain't all about racing. It's, it's about selling sponsorships and, like I say, partying with partying with pretty people. And we had some scheduling conflicts. They have some personal service agreements, and we're taking care of those. But uh, you know, we can still overcome that. We'll be cool. It's it's like I said, dog. It's all real, man. It's it's cool. Last call. All right, it's time for last call. And Dean, I don't know if you know how this goes, but we ask five questions real quickly. You answer them very shortly, and we move right along. Uh, let's start with David Letterman or Jay Leno. Uh, I'm a Dave fan, I guess, from way back. I'll go with Dave. Hockey or lacrosse? <laughs> what the hell is that lacrosse, dude? <laughs> I guess I have to say hockey. Blondes or brunettes? Oh, absolutely blondes, without a doubt. Dogs or cats? Oh, dogs. Dog, dude, dude. Be your own dog. What part of that didn't you get, okay? Dogs, real. And finally, win your own championship or deny Dan Margetta his first championship? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's rewind to that, that couple questions ago, all right? Deny Margetta his first championship. That's what it's all about, dog. We're just keeping it real, kicking it straight, living the dream. Another day in paradise, man. Thanks, Dean, for being on the wind funnel. It's been a real treat for me to be back here. Be sure to tune in next time because I'm sure Dino Bravo will be back. Right now, it's time for the Christmas Classic presented by Village Popcorn right here on HOCC TV. Dave, thanks for having me. Hang tight. Keep it real.
you know, hopefully they got that cheese popcorn or something. Yeah. Or, or the caramel? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, cheese looks good. Good evening, good afternoon, good day around the world, wherever you're watching today. Welcome to the Vista Rio Rancho Raceway. Say that a couple times fast. It's the Christmas Classic, <laughs> prevented by Village Popcorn, a Christmas race, round eight of the HO Champ Car World Series. It's Christmas time, and everybody should be in a, a joyous mood. No Amy Butler to start fights tonight. Amy's missing. <sighs> no Amy, no, no Van Halen. What's going on? <laughs> Amy's gone. I think maybe that's why Evan John are back. That could be. That's right, because she's pretty intimidating. So how about Mark Walzak? Can anybody stop him? He ran away from everything last year. They still can't catch him. Uh, he's running away with it this year, but he also had a DNF here last year. So, you know, watch for Rodder. He was leading big time until he had that death card on the pit stop. I think this is the week he gets that win and breaks that 29 race. That's right, 29 what? years since Larry Rodder has won a race. It could happen tonight at the Vista Rio Rancho Raceway at uh, the Desert Southwest. It's the Christmas Classic presented by Village Popcorn. Get your popcorn. Hey. Have some popcorn. Oh wait, I gotta start. Uh, Birds of Christmas Classic and uh, that car on the pole. That's Larry Ryder. He hasn't won a race in about 15,000 gazillion years, but he might win tonight. He's on the pole. And next to him, that's that Sonny's barbecue car. I won't go back there again. I got the run, but that's Mike Fitzla. Back here. What's this? A new car? New colors? That's not a generic car. That's the new hindsight colors. They got some silver on that car. Stan Margetta in third. And next to him, Chris Spirit, winner at Milwaukee Mile earlier this year in the Zero Car. There's the number one car, it's a Red Bull car, I can't drink that because they, they get me too hyper, but that's uh, Tim Iverson, he's pretty fast. And then there's that number two car, look at it, one and two. That's number two, that's Tom Spirit. This car's already got wings tonight, it's been all over the place, it's very fast, but he can't keep it on the track. It's Mark Waldeck, he stomped him a week ago. And there's a new scene, that's, that's the Australian team car, that's Ev Kamakawa, remember him? Ev Kamakawa is back and he's in car five. I thought he, I thought he was, yeah, I thought he was dead, but he's back apparently. In, uh, Look at these cars here. That, oh shoot, I didn't stop. Oh crud. That's a, that's a, oh no, we're live. That's a, I was lost in the glare of that car. That's a, Mike Kristoff, the hometown hero, and that's the other car. That's a, oh man, I'm a flusher now. That's John Shea. <laughs> this train wreck's about over. This is the last row. That was Dean Strom a couple years ago, but it's not this week. That is the new guy, Matt Hayek. 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 Hayek, 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 Matt Hayek, remember that name? He's in the car 34, it's fast, and he's, he beat the Barbie car. That's the, that's the great thing. That's the Andy Spirit in the end. It's the Christmas classic prevented, prevented by Village Popcorn. <laughs> this train wreck is over. It's presented by Village Popcorn, and it's next. <laughs> Good night. Good night, mate. With Team Australia. Quiet down, quiet down. This is a waddle. It's the emblem of our land. You can stick it in a bottle, you can hold it in your hand. Amen. There we go. Crikey. <laughs> the only team really got is now Pufta. So if they have a Pufta, you can't be part of our team. How did the uh, team how did Team Australia become Team Australia? <laughs> It was a merge. <laughs> it was a merge. Our other team merged into no team. <laughs> a question for Adam. Why, out of all the races you could restart your season on, did you choose the one you've gone, crashed out of three seasons in a row? 
it seemed like a perfect place to start. I want to make it four in a row. I'm consistent. And I knew I'd be consistent on this track. Plus, there's, there's only nine races left, and I got eight races to run, so it's got to start somewhere. And he loves a good fight. Hey, go! <laughs> ready to roll off for the Christmas Classic. We've got the rookie involved in this one. That's Matt Hayek. And then you got your champs sitting there right next to him in the next lane, Jim Iverson, then Andy Spirit, and our brand new Team Australia car of John uh, Shea. And it looks like it was... First lap. Oh, no. Team Australia gets out front for the first lap. Jim Iverson has the most trouble as uh, he had a very slow start. Well, look at these guys. Here they are, side by side now. Shea and Hayek. Shea holds, pulls out a bit of a lead now. Second place. Oh, spin. He gets back on the track. And I think that was the Barbie car that was in for a stop-and-go penalty there a moment ago. Oh, it's Iverson. We've had a lot of trouble tonight here. Uh, looks like Dan Tommy Kendall for Jim Iverson out there. That's right. He's having uh, trouble with these uh, turns. It's a technical track, and I don't know if Jim Iverson's a technical driver. Him and his uh, teammate Mark uh, Walzak have problems here. So now Iverson's crying from the cockpit that we have it wrong. He somehow has the broadcast piped into his earphone, and he says he's leading and that we're wrong. So apparently he's the champ, and we're not. So we'll go with Iverson leading now. How is it that, the, that a guy is driving a race and is listening to this broadcast? Shouldn't he be listening to his team? You think? I think he's watching it, too. <laughs> now that's a little frightening. All right, coming down to the final minute of this first heat race, and John Shea has managed to pull out better than a lap lead now over uh, Jim Iverson. Jim's had a couple of, uh, couple of spins on the tail end here. He's still going to need to uh, rack up some laps because, of course, we do have the transfer spot available. And Dan Tommy Kendall, the uh, defending champ, of course, is going to need as many points as he can score because his teammate is uh, coming on like a bear lately. That's right. And if anybody is the master of the transfer spot this year, it's Jim Iverson. He's, he's got that uh, position four or five times like this year, so he's in in good spot right now. But you got to watch out. The last heat race is very fast in here. They have well, the four pretty much fastest cars are, are stuck in the, in the last heat race, and that could uh, really spell some disaster for the uh, defending champ. But the uh, race is over, and your winner is right there, Team Australia. They're one for one so far this year, batting 1,000. Heat race number two is coming up right here. That's Chris Spirit, Mike Fitzloff, Mike Kristoff, any other Australian guy? That's uh. Dan's got to get out of the way so that we can see. Hey, there's Ev Kamikawa. He is actually here. That's Ev Kamikawa. That's what he looks like. First appearance this year. Look at him. He's hands it up for the camera. There we go. Ready to start heat race number two. We'll see if anybody piles it up in those rocks right there. It made. Oh, we're getting moved out of the way here. We're already in the way. But here they all come. All four cars are gonna make it. Oh, we have one off right there. That guy's done. It's Mike Fitzloff. He can't figure it out, but he's out. Lap one. Merry Christmas. You are done. He does not make the, the one lap. I don't know. Will there be a a a, a mercy lap given like was given to Mike Kristoff back at Raven years ago? Will they give him the mercy lap? Mark on Beak is here with Mike Fitzloff. Mike, what happened? Went for a heck of a ride. Caught somebody's tire in the turn there and just went butt over tea kettle. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you're all right? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Tough car, but uh, we're done for the day. You're going you're gonna to be able to have it set in time for uh, the next race? Oh, you bet. We'll have her done. Oh, yeah, we'll be back. Ev Kamakawa continues to lead this uh, heat race, and Team Australia... Nice check up there, by the way, by Mr. Kamakawa. They are making a statement. They're going to be a dangerous team to deal with in this series. They're going to comprise one half of the final here. So much so, this team came out with so much prepared that they even brought a fan club here. There's a Team Australia fans in the house. Wave for the camera. Hey! There we go. Team Australia fans are in the house. In the final seconds here of this heat race, Ev Kamakawa way out in front. But the story here is the second place card right there. Chris Spirit and uh, Mark, he's catching Jim Iverson for that transfer spot. That he is. He may put one of those PKV leaders out on the, on the trailer for the night. He has 
past, he's, or at least tied with him. This right here, this lap, will give him the transfer spot at this moment. Iverson is now on the trailer, but Ab Kamakawa right now stomping a mud hole in him and walking it dry, trying to put the second Team Australia car in the finals. But Ab Kamakawa is on his way to his first finals and his first appearance this year. And there you have it, your winner, Ev Kamakawa, John Shea. They make up one half of the Christmas Classic. The other two drivers are coming up next in the final heat race, and there's some fast cars coming up. It is the third and final heat race underway. We've got Tom Speard, who has just been blindingly fast tonight out front, then a spin right in front of the uh, start finish for Dan Margetta. Spinning right there in the start finish, and another uh, spin, oh, stop and go coming now for Mark Walzak. He's uh, struggling with the handling here in that yellow lane. That is the tough lane uh, on the track, no doubt about it. We're watching for the transfer spot, which it seems likely that somebody from this race is going to make it because they are on a blistering pace. The question now is, will it be Tom Spirit? Will he hold on to this three-lap lead over Larry? Or will Dan catch up to Rotter? Or could all that be shuffled? Who knows? We're waiting to see what happens now. It's been a surprisingly uh, fast heat race, and Tom Spirit continues to hold on to that lead. You see him side by side with Rotter. Margetta has a crash. He's in for a stop and go. That's going to keep him behind. Larry Rotter holds on to second place and getting a lap back from Tom Spirit. All right, looks like it's going to be close for the transfer spot. Here it comes. They're side by side. Oh, Larry crashes. Margetta's ahead. Oh, the leader has a spin the last lap, and time runs out. And the win goes to Tom Spirit. Second place goes to Dan Margetta at the last second. Passes Rotter. Oh, denied another opportunity. Am I on? All right. I got to check. Would you get these damn things made of Kinko's? What one is he has my bus pass, guy. Hey, guy, get away. That's my pass to get in the... Oh, yeah. That's how I get home. Hey, I got the, I got a job to do. These guys, I ain't seen you guys before. What's your name? Where's Where's Kitty Bo Peep? All right. All right. Only so you're yeah. you're doing the interview? Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. you're you're actually not. Okay, I'll, I'll stand up. We'll here. we'll just okay. we'll freeform here. Okay. All right. <laughs> so what do you think of our chances here tonight, Ed? Uh, I think our chances are pretty darn good, there, John. I think uh, we got two fast calls and got good competition now, and but not a bad way to debut a team. Exactly. If you guys can podium now, that would be an outstanding debut for a brand new race team. Well, I think it'd be good if you know you caught your third race win of the year, maybe my first one. But you know that's and and for our sponsors, and we gotta give a little quick shout out to the original Team for Australia. Okay, now you gotta ask me a question. All right. So now, the, in terms of chances, what do you like? What do you think is the, the our strengths compared to the weaknesses of the other two drivers? Well, I think far and away we got the best paint jobs here tonight. And uh, it's going to be a beautiful finish no matter where we end up. And we're going to be drinking some Vic Bitter tonight. You know, Give the, me that back. The Sheila's hey, love the Aussie You accent. see this? This is how I can interview you guys. They told me you guys are, are full of it. But we're done with the interview now. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, you see those mountains behind us? They're pretty big. Wow, they're huge. Look at that. I bet you can ski in those mountains. Yeah, but I need some snow first. Oh, yeah. Hey, you're, those I the coyote was up there. He might. He he scares me. But uh, those guys, those 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 Austrian guys, they said they're gonna kick your butt. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. I uh, I feel like the guy that killed Santa Claus right now because I knocked Larry Rotter out. And then uh, you, and you killed Santa Claus? Well, I feel like I did because everybody wanted Larry to end I don't know if I can finish this. All right. Hey, that, that was tough. Wasn't that pretty tough? Yeah, it sure was. You know, <laughs> just one of those things that goes. That, that was that was luck. I shouldn't be here. This guy should be in the final. We'll go win it. I'll, I'll win it for you. <laughs> okay, you do that, Dan. <laughs> All right, watch out, Team Australia. <laughs> hey, are you a captain? No, I'm not. I'm really not a captain. I'm an imposter. All I want to say is that I did pretty... They need you upstairs for seconds. Okay, okay. I did pretty damn well with it. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Uh, it's Vista Rio Rancho. Vista Rio Rancho, yeah. a heck of a run for you. Second final this year. It, it, it is? Wow, that's pretty cool. But you know, I have to credit the wet bar that Pancho Villa here has at the, <laughs> at the Vista Rio Rancho because every time I come here, I, I, I you know, get the libations there at the wet yeah, we, bar. We, we see you get a, little, get a little liquored up, relax, and it seems and to it, help you driving here a little it, bit. It really does. Well, good luck, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see how you do here in the final. You see all these credentials that I got? They tell me you got.
Waiting for the start of the Christmas Classic. 20 minutes of racing here. You've met the drivers, sort of, with the help of little Chris Economaki. Here they come right at you into the Mayt Maytag hairpin. And the first lap going to be led by Dan Margetta. Oh, he gets sideways coming down out of the Maytag. And there you go. Margetta's right next to him. Thank you. Kamikawa, now ahead by just a nose, they battle back and forth. Look at this, tight racing all the way around the track several times now on this very dangerous Vista Rio Rancho track. All right, they come down towards the Maytag hairpin, and then the Hugh Downs. Here comes Tom Spirit to join the battle. He's right there with him, and now, and he's in the, he's close to catching up to Margetta. This is a three-way battle now. You see all three cars in touch. Tom's close to passing Dan for second place. Ev pulling out a few car lengths lead. Oh, there comes Tom again. Oh, you can hear the cars side by side again. For second place, they're coming up to, to lap Shea. They got Shea is one lap down. But in the meantime, this battle for second place continues to be very close. And Kamikawa just barely holding the both of them off. Margetta thread the needle between the gap and the wall, and he winds up hanging off the track and out for the night, right there hanging on the control box. Oh, that's just, that's unbelievable. I mean, look at the gap right there. He had to go through that, cr that crash on the side in order to fit through there. How he managed to pull that one off, I don't know, but this this will hurt, his, hurt him a little bit in the uh, point standing. Is this karma for knocking Larry Rotter out? <laughs> Let's see if we can catch up with him. Dan, what, 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 what went wrong? I don't know what happened. I was doing it, Larry. I was doing it. I was going to win it for you, just for you. I, I was going to win it for Larry Rotter because the fans wanted it. They were going crazy, and I don't know. I fit through. You can't fit a dime through there, but you fit my whole car there somehow. <laughs> somehow went sideways through there. It hit the floor. Is this karma for knocking Rotter out of the final? Uh, I, I, no, because he rocked himself out of the final. Uh, this is just this is just dumb luck. Margetta curse stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, but uh, Tom Spirit's our only hope now. You know, because Team Australia is getting to be real annoying. <laughs> let's get back to the final and uh, see how this goes from here. Margetta thread the needle between the gap and the wall, and he winds up hanging off the track and out for the night, right there hanging on the control box. Oh, that's just, that's unbelievable. I mean, look at the gap right there. He had to go through that, cr that crash on the side in order to fit through there. How he managed to pull that one off, I don't know, but this, this will hurt, his, hurt him a little bit in the uh, point standing. Is this karma for knocking Larry Rotter out? <laughs> Let's see if we can catch up with him. Dan, what, 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 what went wrong? I don't know what happened. I was doing it, Larry. I was doing it. I was going to win it for you, just for you. I, I was going to win it for Larry Rotter because the fans wanted it. They were going crazy, and I don't know. I fit through. You can't fit a dime through there, but you fit my whole car there somehow. <laughs> somehow went sideways through there. It hit the floor. Is this karma for knocking Rotter out of the final? Uh, I, I, no, because he rocked himself out of the final. Uh, this is just this is just dumb luck. Margetta curse stuff. I don't know. That was Tom Spirit just put it on the floor. He's out. Came out of the Maytag hair hairpin and wound up on the floor. He's done for the night. So we're left Team with just two cars. No matter what happens, Team Australia is going to win something tonight. What you got in there? Let me smell that. Hey, 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 hey. Let me smell I that. Got this lousy green controller. Time's running down, and the five car leads over the 15 car. And that's how you know the difference. Last five seconds. Here we go. Oh, that car came to a halt. And there is your winner, Ev Kamakawa. Eighth winner in the. Uh, Woo! Eighth, ninth. <laughs> He's excited. Here, let's get uh, Team Australia on here. Ev Kamakawa, your winner here. Ev Kamakawa, seventh winner in eight races this year. First win in your first appearance. Good, good to have you back.
Good day, eh? Good day. Good day all around for tea. I'm Australia, yeah? One, two, first time out. Beauty. Beauty, eh? Good day. <laughs> yeah. Was there any any worry after seeing Margetta and uh, Tom Spear coming off that you may end up come flying off the track? You've done that your last three races here. Well, you know, I have to say, when Margetta came, they, he went right off in the same spot that I did, and that was one of the spots that I was like, for sure, going, don't go off there. And by God, he's at Tom McCowan, he loves a fight. Dang this track boy. is a fight right here. Crocky, that was fun. You said it all. I can't exactly. say it any better. Talk he to loves a fight. Heck to him now. I <laughs> All right, we've got uh, track owner Mike Kristoff here to make some presentations. All right, on behalf of Village Popcorn, oh! get, the logo <laughs> get the logo in. Yeah, thank you. All right, <laughs> that's <laughs> don't eat that. <laughs> it's good cold spray paint. Oh! <laughs> and here is the traditional Christmas classic trophy for Ev Kamikawa. Congratulations, Ev. Crocky, you didn't it, mate. Crocky, you did it. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! That's it here. <laughs> From here, from uh, Vista Rio Rancho, we'll see you in the new year when we return to uh, Raven Raceway. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody.